I'm here to talk about Final Fantasy XIII. Um, I bought it for the PS3, and I know it's a little late. Um, the game's been out for like, I think, two weeks now, but I figured I'd wait a little bit, you know, get play a good chunk of it before I could give my thoughts on it, and this is not going to be a full-blown review just because I haven't beaten the game yet. It's Final Fantasy, so you know it's going to take a little while. So basically, I've been waiting a really long time for this game. This has been probably the most anticipated game for me. Um, I'm not a big role-playing game fan, but I love the Final Fantasy series. Off and on, you know, I've played almost all of them. And I was really excited to see a, a next-gen version of the game. So it finally arrived, and it's kind of weird that it has arrived, because I remember counting, like, the years, and I'm like, when is this going to come out? And it's finally out, so... First, I, I gotta say, I love the box art. I mean, it's just so sleek. I, I, I think it's really, really cool looking. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite character ever out of the Final Fantasy series. Just it, For the first time, the lead character is a female, so that's pretty awesome. And she's just really cool looking. I mean, she kind of has this whole scene look going on. But, I mean, she's badass, and it's just really, really cool. So, I, I really love the cover. Um, this, for those who don't know, Final Fantasy is a turn-based role-playing game. It's, um, it's a little different than other role-playing games like Mass Effect. Uh, you know, you kind of walk around and then you fight characters, but it's, it's a kind of command thing where you command the character to attack. You don't actually attack like you would in Mass Effect. Uh, it's, it's a little different. It's... Um, it's one of those games where you kind of have to know the series a little bit. Uh, the learning curve is a little steep. It's just for the fact that there's a whole new language based on this a game like this. Like you gotta know what Phoenix Downs are, and you gotta know um, how to up upgrade characters and, and things like that. It's just not a, a simple uh, a newbie can just come and pick it up. So it's, it's, the learning curve's a little steep. Um, but uh, a lot of people are a little disappointed just for the first time in probably all of the games where it's very linear and there's not really a lot of exploring. Um, that is true. It's very linear up until you get to like chapter 11 out of 13 chapters where you can kind of walk around and do side quests and build up characters and stuff. But um, that might disappoint some people. But for me, honestly, I, I kind of like how it's linear. I've always kind of liked games like that where you just you tell me where to go and I'll go. I kind of like that, so it didn't really bother me at all. Kind of bothered me a little bit that you couldn't really um, switch up your your party. Like for the most part, they can they control which group you're going to be using, uh, and you also only control the main character that you're controlling, which is something I don't like. Um, just for the fact that when you're fighting in a game, like when you're fighting one of the characters or a boss, and your main character that you're controlling dies, it's over. And that is a bummer, let me tell you, because right now, I'm on chapter 11, and I'm stuck on this guy, who's incredibly hard, and it's one of the, it's a, it's a timed battle, so like, after a point, after a while, he casts Doom on you, and when you cast Doom on your character, it's like a countdown, and if you don't kill the guy before the countdown you die and it's a really long hard battle so I'm really frustrated at that so that I, I, I just don't like how you know your party your, your party leader dies it's over now let's talk about graphics the graphics in this game are it's it's a little it's a little tricky because oh, it's a little tricky just for the fact that the, the cutscenes are incredible probably the best cutscenes I've ever seen in any game and it's kind of what Final Fantasy is known for, you know, the really epic cutscenes that are kind of long, but the good things you can pause it. So that that's really good. Um, the cutscenes are flawless. The in-game graphics, they're really good, but I just think the backdrops and the backgrounds are just a little kind of okay. Uh, just because in your you're in a lot of areas where it's just not much really to show off. Maybe when you when you get to around chapter 11 and you're outdoors and you see the grass and the hills and the, it looks a little bit better, but for the most part you're like in 
caverns and stuff like that. So the graphics are okay. The characters themselves look really, really, really good. So, but but the the backgrounds are like, you know, could have could have seen better. Could you know, I've seen better. So, um, the voice acting um, for the most part is good. Uh, for example, I'll, I'll let me see if I, if you can see. Um, for the most part, they're all, you know, I'm not going to point them out. They're all good, except for this one girl. I think her name's Vanille. Let's go right here. Fucking horrible voice. It's just, they, I, I don't know, Square always gets, like, when they have girl characters, they always get, like, these girls to, like, that sound really high-pitched, really bimbo-y, really stupid-sounding, and, and you just hear her moan all the time. It just sounds really, really stupid, so it's just... It's her. She's annoying, but for the most part, the rest of the characters are, are pretty good. Um, and she, her voice character is really good too. So I'm glad because if she would have had a high pitched, bimboy, annoying voice, it it would have been some trouble. But for the most part, it's pretty good. So um, the length. Now let's talk about the length. Now Final Fantasy games are long. It's it's when I kind of look back, it's one of the few games where you feel like you get your money's worth because it's. You know, it's a really long game. I hear it's like a 50 hour long game. And it'll probably go past that if you want to build up your characters. Because right now, like I said, I'm on this guy and he's really tough. And I think I could probably build up my characters a little bit more. Get them more um, HP and, you know, just just get them build up and, and their strength build up. So it would be a not so tough battle. So, you know, doing that as well can extend the game even longer than 50 hours. So that's... That's a really good thing, and that's one of the things I love about this game is, you know, the length. You feel like you're definitely getting your money's worth, so that's awesome. Fun. Now, this game, to some people, some people might be like, oh, it, you know, it's kind of stupid. I don't control attacking the characters and stuff like that. But let me tell you guys, it's this thing is addictive. Just for the fact that there's this thing called Crysterium. I think I'm saying it right. But it's a thing where when you kill enough people you get points towards that and then it's like a, a thing where you assign characters different powers and you build them up and the more points you get it gives them more powers and more HP it just gets really I don't know it's just it's really addictive it's really fun and it's like you can't stop I found myself saying okay I'm gonna stop at 2 o'clock 2 o'clock comes I'm like okay I'll stop at 2 30 it's just one of those games where you just can't stop playing so that's that's a really cool thing but um other than that, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it's it's one of the like I said before, it's a little, you know, it's 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 time consuming. It's not for everybody, but I really think you should give this a chance. Um, my score, I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give it a 4.75. Um, it's not quite perfect. Like I said, it's a little bit, it's a little linear. Um, it's a little tough. The game can be hard. I mean, when you start off playing, you're gonna think, oh, this is a breeze, but let me tell you, it gets really, really tough. So, it's a little hard. Um, I hear there's gonna be no downloadable content. So, you know, that kind of sucks. Um, I, I feel like the in-game graphics, at least the backdrops, could be a little better. Um, and I really think it was hard to live up to the hype, because this game was supposed to come out like over two years ago so you know the hype I don't think it l quite lived up to the hype but it, I still think it's great I, I still think it's a game you should definitely um, well it, it's hard to say whether you should pick it up or not because you know if you're into role-playing games um, definitely pick it up it's a great thing but if, if you're not really a big fan of that maybe I would stay clear of this because it's this is like I said it's not really for everybody but um, I like it, and um, who knows when I'm going to finish, because, you know, I, I, I'm going to beat some other games first, and then come back and build up my characters, and hopefully beat it, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to give it, like I said, a 4.75 out of 5. Definitely, you know, check it out if you're into RPGs. So, um, thanks guys for watching, and uh, see you next time.